Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host. Welcome to the Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station, and your place in making today better than yesterday. Well, this is going to be an interesting episode. For all my old time listeners, and even for the new listeners, this is going to be something you may have not expected. Last month, we talked about self-acceptance and the importance and the ripple effect that self-acceptance causes in order to make the world a better place. Ironically, in life, we feel that we need to constantly address what's around us and constantly address the circumstances or the situations. But sometimes the best way we can better our lives is if we look inside If we change from the inside out instead of the outside in. And self-acceptance is at the root of that. When we find self-acceptance, we ultimately find peace. And we find ourselves in a place where we can start genuinely changing the world. And the world needs that more than ever. Wherever you are, I'm sure you've been feeling the tension that's throughout the world with these stacks upon stacks of bad news and bad news and bad news and more bad news. Now, that's not to say that the whole world and everything in our lives is bad. In fact, so many people are living different stories right now, whether it's good or bad or worse or better. The list could go on. And the reason I'm saying this is a little different today is because we're no longer picking a topic of the month. We're no longer doing our normal programming. This will be the last episode before 2021. Now, to all my longtime listeners, I hope during this transition you'll stay with me and I hope Throughout this time, I have expressed enough that I am truly, 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 truly grateful to have you here. I have not only grown within this, but I have met some amazing people doing amazing things. And I know those people are causing a ripple effect in the best ways possible. Now, is the Lone Doctrine disappearing? No, we're completely changing and rebranding. We are going to keep the name, but we're going to focus on, ironically, pun intended, self-acceptance. I have not been completely transparent with you. And the more and more this world is going through hardship, and the more and more I see people dealing with depression, with not accepting themselves, with being outcasts, with the oppression, with all of the things that we as people are creating, I'm having this really, really big pull to go into a different direction. Because of this pull and because I'm going to become more transparent, I may lose some of you. And that's the sad part of this. But I hope that come 2021, you tune back in and you give it a chance You keep an open mind like we always talk about and you gain a new perspective, even more vast than what we've been giving you for the past several years. Now, in past several years, you could go back into the archives and gather as much as you possibly can. Now, we're going to leave all the old episodes up, but if there's one that you're really, really resonating with and you want us to send it to you, Go to LoneDoctrine.com, leave us a message, and we'd be more than happy to send you those specific episodes so you can have them on hand whenever needed. Now, we're going to redo all the things. We're going to redo the mission, and we're going to start talking about different things, and we're going to bring different people into the fold. Within that, we're still going to talk about the importance of mental health because our mental health is so important. There's a circle of life. Not Not that one. But the circle of life, meaning we have to 
make sure we're filling our cup, that we're giving to ourselves physically, mentally, and spiritually. Now, spiritually can mean anything that you feel works for you. That's kind of my way of thinking what spirituality is. It doesn't have to be one way. Hence comes the name, Lone Doctrine. Now, this isn't a religious podcast, but it's the idea that we have to find what works for us. And when you're listening to things like podcasts or reading books or talking to friends or talking to family, it's us to up to take those seeds and put into practice those good intentions to see what's really going to work for us and what's really going to create our value system, our belief system, and to constantly challenge ourselves to grow. Life is about growing. There isn't a specific destination. That's what's so beautiful about life. And that's what we should take advantage of. And I hope that you will join me in 2021 to embark on this new adventure, this new mission to make today better than yesterday. And even more so to keep fighting the good fight. I'll see you then. (laughs) 